What's the difference between 30 amp and 50 amp service? I'm Ian Baker and hopefully this video will help answer that question and give you a better understanding of RV amperage use. An RV will come with one of two different power cords, either 30 amp or 50 amp. As the name implies, a 30 amp cord provides 30 amps of alternating current, and a 50 amp cord provides 50 amps of alternating current. By comparison, new construction homes typically start with a 200 amp supply and may be higher depending on the size of the home. A quick and easy way to determine if the RV you're looking at or working on is 30 amp or 50 amp is to simply look at the end of the power cord. Not only is the 50 amp cord itself thicker, but the end of the cord will have a different configuration than the 30 amp. Understanding how much power you have available is key to the use and enjoyment of the RV. Amperage is consumed by a number of components in the camper, and amperage consumption adds up quicker than you may think. For example, a rooftop air conditioner consumes about 15 amps. That's half the power available on a 30 amp circuit. The heating element on a water heater draws about 10 amps, microwave ovens about another 10 amps, a television, fireplace, coffee pot, hair dryer, your onboard converter, and so many more are other examples of appliances that will consume amperage. 30 amp service simply means that you can consume up to 30 amps of power before tripping a circuit breaker. A 30 amp connector is a single leg of 120 volt AC with a common and safety ground. This 30 amp source will feed a single row of breakers in the camper. For trailers equipped with 30 amp service, here's a practical example. If you add together a running air conditioner and water heater element, you're already consuming 25 amps. That only leaves five amps for usage for the rest of the RV. Also keep in mind that if the 30 amp connector is reduced to a standard 15 amp Edison plug, you'll only have enough power to run the bare essentials like the converter. You should never try running a roof air conditioner off 15 amp service. 50 amp service is actually two hot power feeds. The 50 amp plug will have two legs of 120 volt AC. They share a common and safety ground. The two legs feed a split breaker panel. Occasionally, our elite service team will receive a call indicating only half the stuff in their camper is working. This can easily be explained by seeing that one side of the breaker panel is tripped. On a split breaker panel, you will not likely see heavy amp draw components on the same side of the panel. For example, if your unit has two air conditioners, you'll have one air conditioner on one side of the panel and the other air conditioner on the other side. One last note, if the camper came equipped with a generator, it likely came with an Onan 5500 watt generator. If you do the math on a 5500 watt Jenny, you'll see that it supplies about 45 amps. So if the camper came equipped with 50 amp service, the same amount of power is not necessarily available when running the generator. Hopefully this video helped give you a deeper understanding of RV power supplies and the difference between the two, as well as help you understand possible power constraints. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your local Camping World or Gander RV. Or if you're a good SAM Elite member, you'll also have access to our Elite service team who can help you better understand and troubleshoot your RV for this topic or just about any other.